Broken by Christie in the turbo and puts it up and down for two. Kobe Bryant. Kobe again. Christie is on him. Bryant will fire the two. Bucket. Got it. Fall on the play. Kobe is giving them the business. He is literally taking this game over. Here's Bryant. Oh, got the screen. Takes it in. Kobe oh, goodness, look at that. And Kobe Bryant slamming the door on Sacramento with that play there in a 48.16 rebound performance. Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, the dominant forces in this game. Unstoppable in the playoffs. Plowing through the Blazers. Up 3-0 on the Kings. Can anyone stop the Lakers? Sacramento, California, the state capital in the background on this incredible May afternoon. And we're inside a very loud Arco Arena for the Game 4 starting lineups. Here's the Kings public address announcer, Scott Moak. Wishing you a happy Mother's Day as we're coming to you from a rockin' Arco Arena in Sacramento. The home fans want to see this series extended. The Lakers trying to complete the sweep of the Kings. With Clark Kellogg and Mike Fergello, this is Kevin Harlan. The duo of Shaq and Kobe Mike looking to close this round out. Kobe and Shaq combining for over 65 points per game in this series. Torching the Kings. Sacramento coach Rick Adelman has no answers. Then again, no one in the NBA does. So, Clark, that is the question. Who can stop Shaq and Kobe in these defending champion Lakers? Well, partner, 14 straight wins for L.A. They haven't lost in over a month. The role players have been huge as well. Rick Fox defensively, Horace Grant on the glass, Derek Fisher orchestrating and running the point. 
L.A. running on all cylinders. System, go. From the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded king, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter, Pacia Stiakovich is the small forward. And the Kings All-Star, Chris Webber and Buddy Divac round out their five. The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant in each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe stealing the show on a 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Well, the big story in this one, as we've told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubbly self today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Hey, Mike, Kobe is always David under the microscope tonight. The kick out to Williams. Six on the shot clock. Jacks up a three. Connects from three-point range. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two, not one, two sprained ankles. He's been nowhere close to 100% this year. Kudos to C. Webb for not complaining about it. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points, Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment, and what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. So it's the Lakers now. Sacramento making their last shot. And it's the defending finals and regular season MVP Clark O'Neal with the basket. Shaq led the league in field goal percentage. Actually, he's leading the league in field goal percentage. And he fought through a bunch of injuries this year, missed the All-Star game. I actually think he's looked his best in this series. Really a big part of his game. Christie finding the open man here. And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. You know, during this title defense for the Lakers' part, both Shaq and Kobe have missed extended periods of time. And, you know, Kevin, quoting Phil Jackson, who said the best thing that happened to us were the separate injuries to Kobe and Shaq. The Zen master loved that everybody couldn't just rely on that super duo. The role players had to step up and be held accountable, and they've delivered. Now, here's the Akovic, following the miss by Kobe Bryant. Williams looking around. Pass to Weber. Mike gets off for Weber right there. The Lakers have done a nice job defending him this series. It's been a team effort, but the veteran Horace Grant has done a great job on him. And here's Kobe from the arc. Falls through. He's now made two of four. From deep, inside, outside, all levels. Kobe can flat out get it done. Mike, we agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Webber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he resign? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright future. It's been the focus for this franchise. Here's Kobe. Sacramento able to drain the three. Grant, right side. Back to Bryant. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody in the perimeter or in the paint. And it's Kobe Bryant with the trip to the line, Mike. He's having his finest season. During the regular season, fourth in the NBA in scoring at over 28 points per game. Easily a career best. Kobe also averaging five assists per game. He doesn't get enough credit for that part of his game. Here's what Sacramento's going with right now. Circle is checked in for d -Bucks. And it's Jackson in for Jason Williams. Good! Pesha Stojakovic! 
Boyakovich second to Tracy McGrady in most improved player voting. And he has been a little bit off the mark this series, under par for him. The Kings have to get more. Obi and Jack still in their 20s, Clark, but with a title under their belts, this could be one of the all-time duos in NBA history. With that in mind, who are some of the other great tag teams you've seen? Well, you can start right with the Lakers, Kevin. I mean, Wilt and Jerry West. How about more recently in the 80s, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Stockton and Malone still going at it in a strong fashion in Utah. I'd also throw Bird and McHale in Boston in the mix as well. I'll tell you what, Bryant keeps relentless pressure on the defense by staying in attack mode and making them foul. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Sacramento making some changes. Pollard, he's checked in for Weber. And it's Thunderbird in for Stojakovic. The Kings leading. Here's Christie. Puts the move on, and it's sent back by O'Neal. Sending a statement with that rejection. O'Neal reminding everybody what a forceful defender he can be. And that replay showed just how forceful that block was. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. Three from the inbound. At the end of one, a closely contested game so far. The Kings on top, up by two. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Back here in a rocking Arco Arena, maybe the loudest building in the NBA. In the other Western Conference semifinal series last night, Clark, Dallas in a similar situation as the Kings. They won a game four at home to extend that series. And they can thank Dirk Nowitzki for that 30 points carried the Mavericks. Dallas looked dead in that series, but they have now forced a game five. Sacramento going to try to do the same. The Lakers leading the series three games to none, trying to complete the sweep tonight. Bryant getting to the rack with force that time. Excellent on the drive. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Sacramento Kings. It loose, stolen by Grant, and pushing it out. Here's Los Angeles, another stellar offensive game from Kobe Bryant. Mike already in double figure. Bryant has just destroyed the Kings in this series. You can't throw double teams on them with Shaq out there. Playing with pace pays off as they got it right to the cup. That's why more teams are pushing the tempo. It's high efficiency offense. Now here's Bryant, ten points for him, and it's in there. Bryant's got 12. Superb at cashing in from the mid-range. Bryant's an expert at getting whatever shot he wants from this area. Jackson with it. Now defended by Grant. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And he's got his first free throw of the game. That one is off. Well, I tell you what, Bobby Jackson gives his team a really nice spark. He's a bona fide scorer who can knock it down from anywhere and plays with such energy. It's infectious and contagious. Weber, he's checked in for the Kings. Pasha Stiakovich comes in for Thunderbolt. Well, Clark, you got to give these young Kings owners credit. Since taking reins of this franchise two years ago, they have certainly brought excitement here to Sacramento. And, Kevin, not just excitement, but since they took over, the Kings are on their best run since they came out west. And here's Jackson following the three-pointer by Kobe Bryant. From 11 feet away, that one's in there. The Lakers lead is cut down to one in the bucket from Christie. Christie has the athleticism and skill to beat you from all three levels. Here's Kobe. Ito Turkoglu with the rebound. And the Kings with possession. Clark once again, Kobe Bryant just owning this battle with Chris Webber. Exactly. Especially games two or three. Kobe has been the better player. If you're Webber, you've got to find a way to step up. Well, this could be a sweep. 
Now here's Kobe. He's got 15. And that's a strong defensive effort to force the miss, especially against someone of his caliber. Mike, coming into tonight, Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal combining for just about 66% of the Lakers scoring this series. This is as good a combo as we've ever seen. Shaq and Kobe are still in their 20s. Wide open to the hoop. Here's Weber, and Weber throws it down. If Weber gets a shot to go to the rim, he's going to take it. Lakers trail by three. Right side, Kobe. And stolen by Turkaloo. Stojakovic against Fox. Now here's Turkaloo. Tight defense on him. And the rookie Turkaloo gets it to go, Mike. Great to see Hedo play better this series. In round one against the Suns, Turkaloo went just one for 15. But he's adjusted to play off basketball this round. Here's Bryant. Inside, Bryant sinks it. Hey, Mike, no matter what happens here tonight, this has easily been the best season in Sacramento Kings history. This team has a lot to be proud of, don't you think? 55 wins, a franchise record, winning their first playoff series ever since coming to Sacramento. And with this young roster, I think they're just getting started. Adi Dibats checked in for the Kings. Williams comes in for Jackson. Williams passes to Stojakovic. He dishes it to Dibats. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Powerhouse move by Divac. Defense gets physical, but he was ready to play rough. And he's got his first chance at the line here. 115 left in the first half of the game. Lakers trail by six. Well, back during the offseason, Lakers legendary player and front office man, Jerry West, off to Vancouver, taking over another ex-Laker player in Mitch Kupchak. David Aldridge has more. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Yes, Jerry left Vancouver for a new challenge to try and build up the young Grizzlies. West has been the lead decision maker for six title teams in L.A. He engineered those massive trades that brought in superstars like Shaq and Kobe. Kupchak took over during the summer. Mitch was Jerry's right-hand man for many years. Those are very big shoes to fill, Kevin. Absolutely, D.A. Mitch's first big move, a four-team trade. Netting the Lakers' big man, Greg Foster, and Mike Horace Grant. I love that deal for the Lakers. Adding size around Shaq. Taking a little pressure off of him. A big guy who can knock him down from the line. There are no easy tricks or hacks for limiting his offense in outfield. Kobe Bryant! So good at finishing through contact. Look at Bryant just outworking the inside defense and securing the high percentage shot. But zero down, the Lakers are the hottest team right now in the NBA, including the end of the regular season. They are on a very long winning streak. Well, the numbers say it all. I mean, 14 straight wins, Kevin. Most of those wins in blowout fashion. When the Lakers are fully healthy, this is a scary, scary team. Count it. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Here's Bryant, and again, Kobe Bryant is in the 20s. That's 11 consecutive 20-plus point games since coming back from the injury. Outside Williams, here's Weber, and no good on the last second attempt this time. And so it's Sacramento with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Kings trying to avoid going fishing on the Sacramento River. Although it does look nice, doesn't it, guys? Welcome, everyone, to Sacramento. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We're back in California's capital, Sacramento. The Lakers up three games to none in this series. Lakers trail by six. Now, Mike, for the second straight year, the Kings and Lakers facing off here in the NBA playoffs. 
Last year, they went the full five games in the first round. The eight-seeded Kings putting a scare into the top-seeded Lakers. The Lakers blowing out Sacramento, 113-86 in the deciding game. It's blocked by Shaq. Clark, you and I were talking with Chris Webber before this game, and obviously he has that big free agent decision coming up. Very interesting that he has already talked with some rivals for advice. Well, C. Webb told us he talked with Shaq about his decision. Remember, O'Neal went from Orlando here to the Lakers. And he also talked to Tim Duncan, who stayed in San Antonio, almost going to Orlando. Here is Williams, following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Stoyakovich, the pass to Divas. And it's Shaquille O'Neal with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Here's Divots. Five points in the game. Weber, the pass to Divots. Back to Weber. Lock at six. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And Mike, here we are seeing it again. Kobe Bryant just torching the King. All series long, Bryant has been getting his. His diverse offensive game is giving Sacramento fits. Boy, it's been all Kobe all the time tonight. What a scoring machine. Pass to Christie. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Grant. Grant's got four rebounds now tonight. Shoots a fader. The Kings leading. Now Williams. Over Fisher. And it's sent back by O'Neal. And here we go. Fast break. Brian Scott. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That one on Weber. Clark, Phil Jackson's Bulls, of course, winning six titles in the 90s. And now Phil is in charge of this special Los Angeles Lakers group. With the title under his belt, could this be the team of the 2000s? Absolutely. Without question. I mean, Shaq and Kobe are easily the best one-two punch in the league. I'd put both of those guys in the top eight to ten players in the league. The Zen master might have another dynasty in his hands. Lakers trail by three. Fisher, the pass to Kobe. Can't get it to fall. That was tough to watch. He takes it all the way to the cup and just can't finish the job. Inside, here's Weber. Passes to Crystal. Goes back up. And he lays it up and in. And now a five-point Kings lead. The defense turns up the heat, but so does Christie. He takes it right to him. Well, for the first time in two decades, Coach, the NBA did not have a 60-win team during a full 82-game schedule. And you look at the West, incredible balance. The Spurs with 58 wins leading the way. He had three 40-win teams fail to make the playoffs. Wow. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Turkaloo comes in for Thunderbird, and it's Jackson in for Weber. Turkaloo outside. Over Grant. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. Shaq's got his fourth rebound in this one. It's good for Bryant. Back-to-back 30-point games. Nice heads-up play by O'Neal. Opting to pass it to an open guy. Christie the pass to Stojakovic. Here's Divac. The pass to Jackson. Five to shoot. Here's Christie. And it's off from three-point range. The Lakers trail. They double-team Kobe for the lead. And it's blocked by Divac. Excellent block from Divac that time. Good timing and anticipation. Kobe comes with a double team. Pass to Divac. It's good. The assist this time from Jackson. 
Jackson's got three assists now in this one. Lakers trail by three. Bryant looking around down low. And the dunk by Grant. And there's veteran forward Horace Grant. The 35-year-old won three titles with the Bulls under Phil Jackson, came over from Seattle in the offseason, and Grant brings a ton of experience, championship-level experience, and really good skill to that front line. Here's Divots after the basket by the Lakers. Here's Christie. Six points for him. Over Bryant. The shot's good from Christie. Christie's got four points now in the quarter. Nine times out of ten, he probably misses that. But somehow, he found a way. To the middle, it's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. You can count on Fisher to find the open man. Excellent vision and IQ. And here's Djokovic. He's got ten. Twenty seconds left to play in the third. And there's the call on Derek Fisher. That's his first foul. Seventeen seconds left to play in the third. Here's Jackson, and again it's Sacramento converting. Fisher outside. Bryant, that's for two. Christie gives you such an edge defensively. Excellent length and quick hands to bother shooters. We're at the end of the third, and we've still got a close one. Kings lead by three. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. We're ready now for the final quarter of play from Sacramento. A wonderful May day here in Northern California. Kings leading now by three. It's a close game here in the fourth, and Lakers coach Phil Jackson doesn't mind this at all. Yeah, you know, Phil told us the Lakers have yet to really be challenged, and I think he might even welcome a close game. Of course, Jackson's philosophy is to prepare his team for a fourth quarter push. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe he was too open or something. He really should have hit that one. Shaq with the screen. Fisher dishes to O'Neal. And a missed late. That's a big man who knows his role. Grab boards. Here's Williams. Off the left rim and out. Lakers trail by three. High post. Bryant. Working on Williams. Not quite a block shot, but no question he got a piece of it. It might not add to his stat line, but the offense will certainly be more cautious around him after that. No good from outside. And as we start off this fourth quarter, Mike, Kobe Bryant was just incredible during the final frame of game three. 15 points, four of four from the field. Bryant is a clutch performer. So rare to see a 22-year-old rise to the occasion as consistently as Kobe. Here's Turkle following the basket by Kobe Bryant. Let's the free fly. Another miss by Williams. He just can't seem to get anything to go. He's in a bit of a rut. He's got to simplify things on offense. Concentrate on getting quality looks and not settling for bad shot. And check with the slam. Love the selfless approach by Bryant. A willing passer when he sees someone open. And Clark Kobe has dominated this scoring matchup with the terrific Chris Webber. It looks like Los Angeles is on their way to a sweep. Kobe's won this matchup all series long, and that's been the key for the Lakers. Timeout called by the Kings. And some changes here for the Kings. Devonts comes in for Jackson. And Stiakovich is subbed in for Williams. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Such great timing. Defensive awareness, too. When you have to face a defender that can reject you like this, it certainly can change your approach. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. 
Here we are, Coach. The Lakers in line to sweep the Kings. A huge reason why Kobe Bryant. Another offensive outburst from Bryant. He is controlling this game. And the Kings just have no answers for him. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. Now, here is Weber. Pass to Christie. Weber looking around. The Lakers with the rebound. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Kobe. It's hauled in by the Kings. Weber's got rebound number eight now on the night. He kicks to Stiankovic. He's out of bounds. Last touch by O'Neal. Jackson, he's checked in for the Kings. Stolen by Grant. Last break. The Lakers. Fisher, the pass to O'Neal. Stojakovic against Kobe. Oh, Kobe's got it. 37. A new playoff career high. Topping the 36 that he had in game three. Back to back games with playoff career highs. We don't see that often. This guy is special. Get used to big buckets from Weber. He's scared of nobody. Here's Kobe. Good D by Weber. The Kings trailing. Left side Jackson. Christie with the screen on Fox. Jackson with the bounce pass. Here's Weber. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Weber's got four points this quarter. Enzo Bryant will bring it up for the Lakers. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Fisher, the pass to Bryant. Weber with it. Now defended by Fisher. Weber inside. Fisher's there. Outside Bryant. Grant sets a screen for Kobe. This is to Grant. Kobe, that's for two. And the Lakers with another miss. Defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with Christie kicks to Devots. Jackson against O'Neal. Passes it to Devots. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. You cannot afford mistakes like that, especially in a tight game. What a huge trip here, Coach. Absolutely. You can feel the energy in this arena. Bryant is doubled. O'Neal finds Bryant. Grant with a screen on Christie. And Kobe, here we go. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And there's the foul that goes against Sacramento. Kobe with a chance to cause some heartbreak on the other bench. And so it's good on both free throws. And that gives them the lead. A great foul shooter. And he delivers there. Really key in a tight game. Timeout called by the Kings. They're trailing by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Chris, it falls! With everything on the line, cash money right there. Well, if he's feeling the pressure, he's not showing it. And here's the Lakers. Outside Bryant. And Fisher kicks to Kobe. Kobe on the take. It's off. Shaq passes to Bryant. With the fadeaway. And that's it, folks. The Sacramento Kings have won. We will head back to Los Angeles as the Kings force a game five. Well, not the same intensity from the Lakers in this one. 
The Kings were fighting for their lives. They played with more urgency. Well, we know, Clark, this is the first loss for L.A. in over a month. However, the Lakers still lead this series three games to one. And... The Lakers up in this best of seven series, three games to none. Los Angeles winning games one and two in Staples Center. Shaq was dominant each win. And less than 48 hours ago here in Sacramento, Kobe still in the show in the 103-81 win for the Lakers. Sacramento really struggling from the floor in this series. Yes. Well, the big story in this one, as we've told you, Kobe Bryant flying home between games three and four. And for the inside scoop, Let's go to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Kobe leaving the team for personal matters. Immediately after game three, he flies privately back home to Los Angeles. Bryant was not his normal bubbly self today. He could take that out on the Kings. Kevin? Yeah, he might. Kobe is always, David, under the microscope tonight. With the defending NBA champion Lakers, it's Derek Fisher and the great Kobe Bryant in the backcourt. Defensive specialist, Rick Fox. The experienced Horace Grant at the forward. And the big man in the middle, Shaquille O'Neal. He is torching Sacramento in this series. And for the three-seeded king, Jason Williams running the point. Joined by Sacramento stopper, Doug Christie at the two. Sharpshooter Pacia Stiakovich is the small forward. And the Kings All-Star, Chris Webber and Vladi Divac round out their five. Coach, fresh off a career playoff high of 36 points, Kobe Bryant looking for another big game here in Sacramento. Doug Christie has the assignment, and what a difficult one that is. Kobe's cooking. Dating back to the regular season, nine straight games with more than 20 points. And Mike, remember, Chris Webber is gutting it out tonight, playing on two. Oh, my goodness! Come on now! And Clark, just an incredible series so far for Shaquille O'Neal. How about this, Kevin? Averaging 36 and 20 so far. The Kings absolutely have no answer for it. And Sacramento has possession after the basket by Los Angeles. Mike, it's off for Weber right there. The Lakers have done a nice job defending him this series. It's been a team effort, but the veteran Horace Grant has done a great job on him. Well, Clark, you got to give these young Kings owners credit. Since taking reins of this franchise two years ago, they have certainly brought excitement here to Sacramento. And, Kevin, not just excitement, but since they took over, the Kings are on their best run since they came out west. Well, that's just a demonstration of terrific ball skills from Kobe. Avoided the defender and gets it to fall inside. Here's Williams. It's good from about 19 feet. Williams has got his second basket of the night. Williams has gone two or three from the floor. Fisher, the pass to Brunt. Shaq down low. Guarded by Weber. Another shot. And it's laid in by Kobe. Eight points for Kobe Bryant. The handles Kobe has are outrageous. You can tell how much he loves creating for himself. The Kings led the NBA in points per game during the regular season. But in this series, Mike, Sacramento hasn't been sharp offensively. The playoffs are a different beast. Much more difficult to score. You've got Page at 35% during this series. Vlade only 36%. Williams at 32%. And Doug Christie shooting 26%. Here is Bryant. The Kings getting the bucket. Carving his way inside with ease. Bryant is a surgeon on these takes. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Pass to Christie. Back to Williams. Christie with the screen on Fisher. It's Williams with the drive. Count that one. Williams has got his third basket of the night. A minute 20 left in the first quarter of the game. The wide open look here for Fox. A three off for the Kings. They only made one triple in all of game three. Weber with it. Guarded now by Shaq. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Fox with the steal. 
Mike, coming into tonight, Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal combining for just about 66% of the Lakers scoring this series. This is as good a combo as we've ever seen. Shaq and Kobe are still in their 20s. Now here's Williams. He's got six. Three-pointers for Yankovic. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. O'Neal's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Kobe. Good for another bucket. He's made half a dozen now. Six for eight on the night. Kobe's so athletic and smart. Hard to slow this guy down. I mean, he plays through contact well, too. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. That'll be his second foul of the game. Sacramento making some changes. Pollard, he's checked in for Divac. Turkoglu comes in for Stojakovic. And it's Jackson in for Jason Williams. Now here's Turkoglu. Back to Weber. Kicks to Jackson. Six to shoot. Rebound, Grant. And Bryant wide open. He shoots. It's hauled in by the Kings. Could have asked for a better look. And a little frustration. He didn't get it to drop. Passes it to Jackson. Those three pointers off the mark. Kobe Bryant getting it done for Los Angeles. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We've got more in store for you right after this. Back here in a rocking Arco Arena, maybe the loudest building in the NBA. And here's O'Neal. He'll bring it up for the Lakers. Four-point game. Obi and Shaq still in their 20s, Clark, but with a title under their belts. This could be one of the all-time duos in NBA history. With that in mind, who are some of the other great tag teams you've seen? Well, you can start right with the Lakers, Kevin. I mean, Wilt and Jerry West. How about more recently in the 80s, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and Magic Johnson. Stockton and Malone still going at it in a strong fashion in Utah. I'd also throw Bird and McHale in Boston in the mix as well. To the paint, here's Thunderbird. Basket is good. The assist from Turkaloo. Thunderbird's got his first bucket in this one. Such a terrific passer for a swingman. Turkle wants to set his teammates up. Another stellar offensive game from Kobe Bryant. Mike already in double figures. Bryant has just destroyed the Kings in this series. You can't throw double teams on him with Shaq out there. Just absolutely tenacious, guys. He stuck right on him defensively. Really bothered that shot. Jackson gets the bucket. That's what speed and agility will do for you. Big time play there. The Lakers leading the series three games to none. Trying to complete the sweep tonight. It's good for Fisher. Derek Fisher missed the first 62 games of the season, and L.A. struggled without him. Since he's been back, they have a 21-5 record. Basket good. Christie has the athleticism and skill to beat you from all three levels. Christie's gone two or three from the field. Here's Bryant. Oh, Bryant putting on a display. And he continues to put in work in the paint. Here's Christie. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. There's Jackson with the three. Hits it from three-point range. Jackson's got five. Hey, Mike, no matter what happens here tonight, this has easily been the best season in Sacramento Kings history. This team has a lot to be proud of, don't you think? 55 wins, a franchise record, winning their first playoff series ever since coming to Sacramento. And with this young roster, I think they're just getting started. Hey, he's a value utility guy. Whatever you need, Christie can provide it. He's willing to do so, even chipping in scoring-wise. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. And that'll be his third foul so far. And some changes here for the Kings. Weber, he's checked in for Pollard. And it's Peja Stiakovic in for Funderburg. Kings leading now by three. Clark once again. Kobe Bryant just owning this battle with Chris Weber. Exactly. Especially games two and three. Kobe has been the better player. If you're Weber, you've got to find a way to step up. Well, this could be a sweep. So the Kings called timeout. They're first. Adi Divac checked in for Sacramento. Here now is Weber. Pass to Christie. 
And here's Djokovic. Shot clock at six. Here's Weber. And a check with the rebound. Shaq's got six rebounds here tonight. Part zero down for Lakers are the hottest team right now in the NBA, including the end of the regular season. They are on a very long winning streak. Well, the numbers say it all. I mean, 14 straight wins, Kevin. Most of those wins in blowout fashion. When the Lakers are fully healthy, this is a scary, scary team. Lakers shooting their first free throws of the game. Seems like Kobe can take over a game anytime he wants. He's got that gene. And Kobe drops them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Christie kicks to Stiakovic. The pass to Christie. Grab her outside. Pulls it from 20. Christie can't make it. And people will say he shouldn't take that mid-range look. But he had the space and is capable of making it. Outside, Kobe. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his fourth foul of the contest. He's ready that time for the hop step all the way. Gets position, holds his ground, and able to draw the charge. Jason Williams. He's checked in for Turkaloo. 122 left in the first half. In the other Western Conference semifinal series last night, Clark, Dallas in a similar situation as the Kings. They won a game four at home to extend that series. And they can thank Dirk Nowitzki for that 30 points carried the Mavericks. Dallas looked dead in that series, but they have now forced a game five. Sacramento going to try to do the same. Brent gets to Bryant. 52 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. No good off the back of the rim. And so it's Williams who brings it up for the King. Only giving up six here in this quarter. That one good for two. Weber's got the lead up to five now for the Kings. Powering in. Weber making the inside his. Here's Bryant. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And it's Kobe Bryant with the trip to the line, Mike. He's having his finest season. During the regular season, fourth in the NBA is scoring at over 28 points per game. Easily a career best. Kobe also averaging five assists per game. He doesn't get enough credit for that part of his game. On the wings to Jokovic. Guarded by Fox. Divac, the pass to Christie. A three-pointer, no good. Christie against Bryant. Over Christie. Three-pointer. Fox sinks the triple. Fox has got the game tied up here for the Lakers. Good work by Fox there. He knows if that ball gets back to him, he's ready to fight. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It is a lazy afternoon on the Sacramento River, but it's a beautiful day in Northern California. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. We're back in California's capital, Sacramento. The Lakers up three games to none in this series. Now, Mike, for the second straight year, the Kings and Lakers facing off here in the NBA playoffs. Last year, they went the full five games in the first round. The eight-seeded Kings putting a scare into the top-seeded Lakers. The Lakers blowing out Sacramento, 113-86 in the deciding game. Two on the clock. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. No good from Shaq. Clark, you and I were talking with Chris Webber before this game, and obviously he has that big free agent decision coming up. Very interesting that he has already talked with some rivals for advice. Well, C. Webb told us he talked with Shaq about his decision. Remember, O'Neal went from Orlando here to the Lakers. He also talked with Tim Duncan, who stayed in San Antonio, almost going to Orlando. And Mike, here we are seeing it again. Kobe Bryant just torching the King. All series long, Bryant has been getting his. 
His diverse offensive game is giving Sacramento fits. Kobe Bryant so hard to slow down. What a gifted offensive player. Williams against Fisher. Pass to Stiakovic. Back to Williams. Devon sets a screen. Williams passes to Devon. O'Neal with the rebound. Shaq's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And Fox has it in the corner. Back to Kobe. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And they double up Bryant. Sacramento making a switch here. Butterbirds checked in. Now here's Kobe. 20 points for him. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Mike, we agree the biggest storyline for the Sacramento Kings is this Chris Webber's last game as a king. He's a free agent. Will he resign? Will Chris return? Most reports are that he's gone. And that'd be a shame. The Kings have built something. They have a really bright future. It's been the focus for this franchise. Debounce against O'Neal. Let's it go from 14. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. And they double up Bryant. The next foul will put them in the penalty. You have to be careful now. You don't want to give away three points at the line. On defense, Sacramento. Here's Bryant. It's Bryant converting down low. Now that's too easy for Kobe. The closer he gets, the more dangerous he becomes. The Kings trailing. You know, during this title defense for the Lakers, Clark, both Shaq and Kobe had missed extended periods of time. And, you know, Kevin, quoting Phil Jackson, who said, the best thing that happened to us were the separate injuries to Kobe and Shaq. The Zen master loved that everybody couldn't just rely on that super duo. The role players had to step up and be held accountable, and they've delivered. Coming in hot. Brian sees an opening and dives inside for the throwdown. Right around three minutes into the second half. Here's Weber. Good on the 13-footer. Weber's got four points this quarter. So many different tricks up his sleeve. Makes him a tough matchup. And here is Bryant. 26 points for him. There's no backing down when it comes to Kobe. He'll take on anybody on the perimeter or in the paint. Lakers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Clark, Phil Jackson's goals, of course, winning six titles in the ninth. And now Phil is in charge of this special Los Angeles Lakers group. With the title under his belt, would this be the team of the 2000s? Absolutely. Without question, I mean, Shaq and Kobe are easily the best one-two punch in the league. I'd put both of those guys in the top eight to ten players in the league. The Zen master might have another dynasty in his hands. Clock is at three. Shoots. The rebound by Bryant. Defensive positioning is extremely important, but he could not have played him much better. It's hauled in by the Kings. You expect to get two points there. A little more lucky for them. And Clark Kobe has dominated this scoring matchup with the terrific Chris Webber. It looks like Los Angeles is on their way to a sweep. Kobe's won this matchup all series long, and that's been the key for the Lakers. Now, for the first time in two decades, Coach, the NBA did not have a 60-win team during a full 82-game schedule. And you look at the West, incredible balance. The Spurs with 58 wins leading the way. He had three 40-win teams fail to make the playoffs. Tons of hustle from the big man. Weber pushing to get back in transition to support the play. Stolen by Weber. And even three-on-three -three break. Here's Turkaloo. Oh, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. Boy, giving up the body to make a play right there. That's really good defense. He read that to a T. 
Got there early and braced himself for the hit. Pollard, he's checked in for the Kings. Thunderbird comes in for Pejas Diakovic. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Ryan against Turkaloo. Ryan inside. 28 points for him. The shot, no good. Passes it to Christie. Over Fisher. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Kings lead by one. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth. We're ready now for the final quarter of play from Sacramento. A wonderful May day here in Northern California. And it's Williams with the ball for Sacramento. They lead by one. And as we start off this fourth quarter, Mike, Kobe Bryant was just incredible during the final frame of game three. 15 points, four of four from the field. Bryant is a clutch performer. So rare to see a 22-year-old rise to the occasion as consistently as Kobe. Here's Kobe. It's good for Bryant. Back-to-back 30-point -back games. And neither side, Coach Fratello, able to take control of this game. Yeah, at this rate, it's going to come down to a photo finish. Jackson in the corner. Never kicks to Williams. Good on the triple. Talk about a guy who plays with confidence, Jason Williams. And we played through about a minute here in the fourth. Here's Kobe. Fisher trying to free himself up. And there's Bryant. That's good on the assist by Fisher. Fisher's got assist number seven for him tonight. In game three, with the Kings down 18, Mike, midway through the fourth quarter, they went to the Hackershack. Shaq went just one of six at the line on Friday, but the Kings couldn't take advantage, failing to cut into that Lakers lead. So while it was effective, the Hackershack didn't make the game closer. Feeds it to O'Neal. Out to the wing. Fox kicks to Fisher. On the wing, Bryant. O'Neal sets the screen for Kobe. No good with the triple. The Kings leading. Jackson looking around. Here's Christie. The rebound by Kobe Bryant. Christie's got three of his nine shots to fall. Fisher finds Bryant. Bryant is double. Stolen by Jackson. It's a close game here in the fourth, and Lakers coach Phil Jackson doesn't mind this at all. Yeah, you know, Phil told us the Lakers have yet to really be challenged, and I think he might even welcome a close game. Of course, Jackson's philosophy is to prepare his team for a fourth quarter push. Right. Second chance shot. They double team Kobe, and the foul against Hito Trickery. That is his first foul of the game. Sacramento making some changes. Devonch comes in for Jackson, and it's Peja Stiakovic in for Williams. Off the inbound, Bryant gets it to go. He's got 34. Nice way to pad the assist numbers. Fox creating points with his vision. To the inside. Weber gets the bucket. Get used to big buckets from Weber. He's scared of nobody. Grant with a three on Stiakovic. Here's Bryant, and it's in for Kobe. 36 points, equaling his playoff career high. You can see it in his face. Bryant relishes the big moment. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're ahead by two. 157 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And quickly down to David Aldridge, who is listening into the Lakers huddle. Thanks, Kevin. Now, Shaq gave his teammates a direct message. He said, we can play one more quarter or five. Let's play one. The Lakers are trying to close this series out tonight. Kevin? We'll see if they can, D.A. Thanks. Jackson, he's checked in for the Kings. A crossover. A rebound by Kobe Bryant. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. To tie it up. Good! Kobe for two. 
Rollins for Brian, a playoff best. Topping the 36 that he had in game three. Back-to-back -back games with playoff career highs. We don't see that often. This guy is special. It's not that hard to spot an illegal screen. Most of the time, an easy call for the officials. Look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Fisher dishes to Grant. Stolen away. Down low. Here's Weber. And Weber throws it down. Really a big part of his game. Christie finding the open man here. Unable to get the ball in bounds. They get called for the five-second violation. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter. Weber, the pass to Jackson. He feeds it to D-Box. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. And it's a four-point Kings lead. Here's Kobe. And for the first time in his career, Kobe's got 40 in a playoff game. Kobe has been sensational. Fisher against Jackson. Shoots from eight. Here's Weber. No good that time. Some solid defense from Grant. Here's Kobe. Sacramento grabs the miss. Outside Jackson. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his fifth foul. Jackson with it. He kicks the D-box. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Not shying away at all. Fearlessly stepping into that big shot. Wow. Beautiful. That takes real guts. I think this whole arena was holding his breath. The M1 puts a little extra insurance on their lead. What a good play. Another steal. And they go to the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. And what I appreciate about Divac is how clever he is. Not just a shrewd passer, but an intelligent scorer as well. And so both free throws are good, and it's a seven-point game. You never want to leave points at the line, especially when you're trying to build on your lead. Got it. 14 points for him in the quarter. The game on the line, the balance in jeopardy. This guy, Kobe, steps up big. Big time shot. And the foul called on Kobe Bryant. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. It's the first netting.